didn't match your performance or your competition. Did it usually match up if, you, if you're training well? For me, yes. I was very much of a I have to train well to compete well wasn't really as good as, as some people when they can not train well and just turn it off. But and some can. And no, some athletes can, are different. Yeah, absolutely. Mention those pictures that she posted when they were down in Texas, the French team, Red Sharpie, along with Simone Biles, and now ready to go on uneven bars. Whoa. Wow. And that's Smarts hitting right calf. There was nothing wrong with this at all. She just starts to kick her feet, moving forwards a little bit too soon. She's going to, oh boy. Oh, and you actually, looking at the bar, the, the things in between the bar that set the distance, because I don't know if she hit the bar so hard it went up or something was loose, but you see that they are now having to fix the bar. That is, you know, I'm, there can be extreme cases where they say equipment malfunction, but my guess is that they're going to say it moved because she hit it, or the coach-athlete combination didn't secure the bars. Coach coming in, they're going to try to figure that out right now. Yeah. It's actually the AAI, the equipment manufacturers, their reps are on the floor. And, you know, this is interesting because normally if you come off the bar, you only have 30 seconds yes. to get back up and can really throw you off your endurance and just even just your mental state yeah. is thrown off, but... I'm, w I'm wondering, I'm looking to see if the coach has addressed the panel, the she judges did. at she all. She did. She, she did. came over and did exactly yep. that. Yes. So. <laughs> trying to listen in there. We couldn't quite hear, but another yeah, look. Yeah, it's, it's crooked from the start, but. It, Oh, oh, wow. Yes. So it actually yeah, it did jump totally up slides. before she even hit. Yeah, you can see it there, too. My guess is, if I were the coach, I would say that this is equipment malfunction. Absolutely. But. Wow. And I believe we're getting word that is what they are saying. And, and you could kind of get some insight into that because the coach did come over to have a word, but it was a short conversation. So she must have been satisfied with what they had to say. And we're, we're being told right now she does get to restart. Mm. Oh. Well, good for her. That's, that doesn't happen often. <laughs> <laughs> but you could clearly see in the video, in the replay. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this is where the mental game really comes in here. Yeah. You have to hit that big reset button. Pretend like none of that just happened. This, this is one of her better events, though, so. And physically, you hope she's all right, too, after that. Yeah, that was painful. Yeah, that's going to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> You've done that. Oh, well. I have certainly many times. I, I've hit my... <laughs> my heel or my Achilles on, on, a, on a metal bar, a wood bar also, mm. and it's, it's mm. not pleasant. I don't think that that's going to impact her performance here, though. You know, where it might come into play a little bit more is when she goes to floor, maybe even balance beam, but... Well, we're not going to speculate on if there no, is an no. injury or how, so because we don't know. But she's a vet in terms of the mental aspect of it. She is a veteran. I know she's just 18, but been to the World Championships 2017, 18, 2019 as well. You know, has the experience, but I, I, I'm pretty sure doesn't have this kind of experience where something like this right. has happened. Right. And, and not many athletes can say that they have that. By the way, as she does this and prepares the bars, congratulations, successful Nasty Lucan Cup last night. Thank Once you. Once a decade now. Thank you. Yeah, it was year 11. That's <laughs> terrific. Thank you. Taking place right here in Pfizer Forum, normally the home of the Milwaukee Bucks, who are on the road, taking on the Lakers. 
So what is she doing right now? She's spraying the bars. Every athlete likes it a little bit different. Some like it to be a little damp. Some like it to be bone dry. So that adjustment has to happen right before the judges give her permission to begin her routine, and hopefully those bars are cranked down. That's the thing. Mentally, as an athlete, you've got to trust the equipment now. Absolutely, and, and not just for her, but this whole thing took a long time, so you're thinking about all the other athletes who are now waiting to go after her as well. Gorgeous. This is where it happened. There you go. Beautiful. Great combination. As I said, this is one of her better events. Well, this is a big moment. Tremendous job after that adversity. Hit it out of the park. That's pretty impressive. To deal with that, come back, put that out there. Get the number in a moment and continue here. The most prestigious annual international competition in the U.S. The American Cup continues from Milwaukee.